so I came through just planning a little swooshing through the woods and then I see people working. So I had to find out what happened. So we're going to meet Drew. Drew, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Drew, a uh, resource ecologist here at Schlitz Audubon Nature Center. And you've got, I saw maybe a dozen people scattered around to, all together uh, I think working we're today? I about 10 today. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, so we're coming through and uh, we're removing uh, buckthorn. It's an invasive species. Um, so we're coming through and we're uh, removing it from the property so it doesn't keep spreading and um, taking over. So it's a vicious devil, yep, isn't yep, it? Yep, it's, it's a noxious weed, so it comes through and it takes completely over the area. So um, I've seen lots of little flags, pink ones, blue ones, throughout the grounds. What mm -hmm. do those mean? Um, so they mean they have three different things going on um, with that. The pink are around areas of native shrubs that so we're that's saving. The good stuff. So that's the good stuff. That's where there's a lot of dogwoods, some cherries, some nannyberry. Um, so those are all really good native species that we're keeping. Um, so that's the boundary of those, and we have blue flags, which are on native species um, that aren't in the native those native shrub areas that are trying to be pink, but they're natives that we want to keep. And then so um, they're a little more fragile because they're out on their own. They're just kind of out on their own. Yeah. And then the um, the blue, orange are um, wetland delineation boundaries. So um, a couple months ago we had in the summer, late summer, early fall um, sewer pack. Um, came out and they uh, delineated all the boundaries for the wetlands. So that's the first time it's been done here? Um, for this part of the property. Oh, okay. It's, so legally, we have ideas where we have wetlands, sure. but that's when we have officially legally um, delineated. So then that, um, so it's to be official with the state. And why is that delineation then, you know, important? Uh, it's for project planning, um, so we know where the wetlands are, so now we can say um, where we can do certain things, where we can't do certain things. Uh, and then also a big thing is our trail routes. We're in the process of looking at our trails and deciding we're rerouting some of them, and we don't want to put certain trail types in wetlands. Um, so then that just becomes a soggy mess in spring because it's a wetland. So we're going to. And so it's we defeating can, the purpose. It, of, I mean, the benefits of that wetland. Yep. Right? So we can we can route our trails around our wetlands. So we don't have to put, or we can put boardwalk through our our wetlands. Um, so it's just help us with project planning and then um, maybe get into the state uh, wetland remediation fund so get some money through the state that way oh, but I'm cool. not I'm not the expert on that <laughs> My boss knows so you probably don't want that. to talk about the wetland bill that's going through the state legislature uh, <laughs> but yeah. this is this is an interesting illustration because it's this is just an amazing spot it's protected it's you know it's a uh, conservancy, mm -hmm. and so you're able to keep keep those wetlands functioning. Yep, yep. That's that's what that's a big thing we're trying to do is keep our to improve the property constantly. Um, this area that we're standing in right now, uh, if you had come out here a month ago, you wouldn't be able to walk through it because um, it was so thick with buckthorn. So we've been coming through and using machinery to mow down all the buckthorn. Yeah, um, I noticed those tracks. What the volunteers today are doing, they're cleaning up around trees where I couldn't get the machine in. Okay. So. So buckthorn, you, you're after this devil year round. I mean, not, is is winter the best time to get at it? Uh, winter's the best. Best when we do it predominantly. You can do buckthorn pretty much any time, but spring. Um, that's when the, we use herbicide on it, um, and that's when it, the herbicide isn't effective. So we have to take a break in spring. Um, so then we do, and then in summer we are removing garlic mustard and dames rocket which people are familiar from their yards. Yeah. So. so these two people over here working, they're... Um, explain the process. Um, so what they're doing is, is uh, we're cutting, we're using, we're using our loppers, and we're cutting down um, the buckthorn um, pretty much at snow level, or we try and get a little bit lower when it's out the snow, about an inch off the ground is what we shoot for. Uh, and then they just take their the herbicide, which is in essentially what looks like a bingo dauber, um, it, it's basically somebody looked at Bingo Dauber, thought that'd be a great way to do this, and they so they made them. Cool. Um, which is a great way to do it. There's no, you can't over herbicide. There's no runoff. There's no drift. It's um, the perfect application. It's really, sort of. for what we're doing here, it's it's as safe as you can get. Yeah. If you don't use buck, if you don't use the herbicide, it's it's gonna come back worse. Yeah. So we found it's it's the safest way to do it, being the nature center we are we want to protect and limit what we're, the harm we're doing if anything so